So currently I'm working on a little DIY project. I am trying to turn this old electric motor into a generator that I can use to generate electricity. And so I thought to myself, why not use this opportunity to make a video on how generators work? So a generator is one of these things that seems extremely simple at first, but then you realize that there is slightly more to it than you initially thought. Okay, so let's start with the very basics anyway. A generator is a device that can turn kinetic energy, so movement of any kind, into electrical energy that can, that can be used to power things like lights or machines or computers, something like that. And it uses electromagnetic induction to do this. So electromagnetic induction means that if you take a wire or actually any kind of conducting object, so for example, let's say this is a wire, a very thick wire, but you know, it doesn't really matter, and you take a magnet or anything that generates a magnetic field, and if you then move that near the conductive object, then you generate electricity within the object. And that's the principle of a generator. A generator is simply a device that moves magnetic fields relative to some wiring, and that then generates electricity inside that wiring. But there is more to it than that, of course, because it also matters how you move this magnet. So do you move it like that, or do you move it like that, or do you move it around it, or something like that? How should I move this magnet in order to generate the greatest amount of power? And in order to figure that out, we've got a little rule that we call the left hand rule. The left hand rule specifies that if I take my left hand and put it flat like this, then the electric current will run in the direction of my fingers, the magnetic field will run in that direction, and the physical force will be along with my thumb. And this tells us that the magnet needs to move at a 90 degree angle with our wiring. So if we move it like this along with the wire, that's not really useful. That doesn't generate a lot of electricity. So we need to move it like this, or we need to rotate it like so. That also works. Okay. Now, of course, on top of that, we don't just need to move the magnet in the right way. We also need to use a lot more wire because this is not going to work. So in a real generator, you would use, just like in this thing, you would use massive coils with lots of turns, lots of wire to generate a higher voltage. That's what you want to do. So an optimal generator has big coils with lots of turns and then magnets that are positioned in an optimal way like we just discussed. And also you want to minimize the air gap between the coils and the magnets, of course. The closer they are, the better your generator will work. Okay, the next thing that we need to discuss is the output of the generator. So a power generator, the output will always be AC, right? And if you don't know what that means, a normal battery has a positive side and a negative side, and it supplies a constant voltage across these two sides. A generator doesn't, because the generator has got this rotating or moving magnet inside it, and so the polarity is constantly reversing and the voltage that will be applied to the output of the of the generator will be a sine wave like this. Now there are some generators that can supply DC, but that's just because they have some rectification system built into them. Also, it is possible to have a generator that doesn't generate one phase of electricity, but three of them, or more, right? So you can have three coils positioned around a magnet like so, and then you have three separate wires and a zero wire, and you have three phase power. So then you get a graph that looks like this. And this is the kind of generator that, uh, that is used in a power plant. So there you go. Those are the basics of generating electricity. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.